Now we're going to look at some terminology for a hypothesis test. The first key phrase you'll hear a lot about is the test statistic. And this is a value computed from the sample data. So if we're using sample data, we'll either be using X bar, P hat, or S, the sample mean, proportion, or standard deviation. And this is what we will use to decide if we reject H naught. So before we talk about the next piece, we need to cover the significance level. And that is just alpha, which is the maximum probability that we'll reject H naught when we shouldn't, a type one error. Remember, if H naught is not wrong, then we should not be rejecting it. We should not be sending an innocent person to jail. So now we're ready to talk about the critical value, which is the value that's compared to the test statistic. So then we can decide whether we reject H naught or not. Its calculation is based on alpha, remember the significance level, which is the same alpha we were using with confidence intervals, although we were told it's a 95% confidence interval, and we had to find that alpha was 5%. Here you just be given alpha is 5%. And you can think of it as the cutoff point for the test statistic. That it's kind of like the maximum we are going to have, and if the test statistic exceeds it in some way, then we would reject H0. And specifically, that critical value creates what's called a critical region. It's the area from the critical value to its closest edge or its closest tail. And so if the test statistic falls in this critical region, then we reject H0 right, because it's gone past our cutoff point, and so it often gets referred to, to as the rejection region.